Hi and welcome to another book review video. This is Green Witchcraft, a practical guide to discovering the magic of plants, herbs, crystals, and beyond by Paige Vanderbeck. I was given this book for free in exchange for doing a review, but it is a book that I would have purchased on my own. If you have watched my spell videos, you've seen a lot of herbs a lot of herb videos that I've made, the uses of the herbs, and I sell herb mixtures in my Etsy shop, link is down below. So this is definitely in my wheelhouse. This is something that I use on a daily basis as part of my own personal spirituality. I use herbs as part of my own natural homeopathic healing, and just, I mean, I don't call myself a green witch, because I'm more of a chaos or an eclectic, because uh, I don't just use herbs, but I use a lot of herbs. They play, they feature very highly in the stuff that I do, so I was really excited to get this book and be able to review it, and just to have it as part of my own personal library, to be honest. Alright, let's take a look. Alright, the content page, part, uh, part one, is Understanding Green Witchcraft, so... Chapter 1 is The Way of the Green Witch, Chapter 2, Harnessing the Powers of the Green Witch, and Chapter 3, Connecting with the Natural World. And then Part 2 is The Practicing of the Green Witchcraft. So Chapter 4, Flourishing with Flowers. I like the alliteration she has here. Chapter 5, The Power of Plants. Chapter 6, Healing with Herbs and Greens. Chapter 7, The Wisdom of Wood. And chapter 8, The Strength of Stone and Crystal. So she's got some alliteration going on there. So the Green Witchcraft Tradition. And here's some, I guess, attacking some myths. I can't be a Green Witch because I live in the city, blah, blah, blah. Um, I believe in science and Western medicine. I have the opposite of the green thumb. I kill everything. I'm a faithful Christian. I was taught that witchcraft is evil. Let me just read this here, because we need to address this a little more often, I think. Witchcraft and magic are not evil, and the vast majority of modern witches you meet are not satanic or even anti-Christian. It may surprise you to know that Christian witches exist. Hello? There are also Jewish, Muslim, and atheist witches. If your religion enriches your life and provides you with comfort and understanding about the world, there's no reason to give it up or to think that witchcraft contradicts it. So, let me just chase that rabbit for a little bit, yeah. Uh, Christianity is full of rituals. Look at, especially Catholicism, they use herbs and incense and anointing oils and all kind of rituals. I mean, it's full of it. Even in the Baptist faith, which is what I was raised in, we use anointing oils. I mean, even church itself is full of rituals. The whole thing is rituals. And yes, there are some witchcraft practices that delve into more of the darker arts. And there are some who call on different gods and goddesses. And I, if you watch any of my videos, you will see that for the most part, I don't call on a specific god. I might do some elemental magic, but mainly it's herbal type, herbal and incense and some candle magic, and it's more of a meditation, centering, sort of the power within yourself. That's kind of more of where I take my practice from, and if anything it does help like focus with, with meditation, calming your mind, just sort of centering yourself, and it's just a, a really great way to set aside the busyness of life in general, and kind of refocus and recenter, and kind of get back on track a little bit. So I love that that's in there. Okay, so let's just take a look at some of what's in each chapter. So chapter four, flourishing with flowers. 
It says, in this chapter, I will introduce you to 15 different varieties of flowers, all with their own energies and uses in magic. Then you'll get a chance to connect with the flowers on your own in acts of magic, recipe making, and rituals. So it starts off with, like she said, introducing 15 different flowers. And then here is how to use them in some rituals. So here is a sacral healing bath salt recipe, a divination dream pillow uh, sort of recipe, how to make how to make it, and it's all the steps for all of the ritual that has that goes with that. All right, I'm not going to show you everything because you need to you know buy the book, Chapter Five, The Power of Plants, and just turning right here. Tamiata, Moline, I mean, I have these in my collection. I use them to make a lot of different herbal mixture. Uh, the Rose of Jericho, or the Resurrection Plant, I sell so many of those in my Etsy store. They are a hot, they are a hot item. Alright, Sacred Smoke Cleansing Wand, so uh, to make your own bundle of sage, here's a recipe for that. The Charm Bag, yeah. Really, really cool. Resurrection Plant Growth Spell. Some really good rituals in here. Alright, Chapter 6, Healing with Herbs and Greens. It starts off the same as the other chapters. Like, here's Bay Laurel, Motherwort, Catnip, and Cannonball, all on these two pages. It tells you about them, what they're used for. And then, the second half of the chapter is Recipes. Very, very... Uh, popular fan fan uh, oil with voodoo yeah very very popular one and <laughs> psychic k over t there's herbal healing salve a candle spell for quick healing all right the wisdom of wood chapter seven again at the beginning of the chapter talks about the different types of wood all right wood and trees in practice so the very first one is a sacred tree incense. So here's the, you know, recipe for how to make it. All right, chapter eight, the strength of stones and crystals. I think you've seen a lot about stones and crystals on my channel because I've been getting those books to review. And th this has a very simplistic compared to the crystal books that I've reviewed. Um, but that's because this is not just about these. <laughs> so, um, stones and crystals in practice. So, for example, here's a crystal grid for courage, and it tells you what you will need, and then it gives you the whole ritual to do. I love it. This has a lot of really useful information in it. I'm definitely going to explore this book further. You might see some of the rituals performed out of this book on some of my um, spell work videos so if you'd like to see that stay tuned make sure you have subscribed turn on the notification bell so you will be notified when the videos go live it's going to be probably a little while because i do have a surgery coming up which is going to take away the use of my dominant hand which is going to limit what i can do during my recovery time but i promise i will do some rituals from this book video it and put it on my channel so be sure to stay tuned for those if you'd like to see them thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye